I now invite Sri Nandakumar ji for the keynote address on the topic Vasudeva Kutumbakam, the Hindu world view. Most respected Rajendra ji, and Harshit ji and the dignitaries who are sitting in the hall and also the strength of Bharat, the future of Bharat, my dear young brothers and sisters. I would like to start from what Rajendra ji was uh, uh, talking about lot of civilization, civilizations they have left this world maybe because their purpose of living the purpose of coming here in this planet was over they are over or they were not able to deliver them properly that's why their relevance was ceased to exist and they went back. And Bharatiya Sanskriti, Bharatiya Nagarikata, Bharatiya Civilization is still existing and it is continuing. It is as strong as ever and it is striking like anything. But what is the reason of that? Muhammad Iqbal, you may be, you might have heard about that great poet. Great was he as a poet. In the beginning times also he was very much uh, writing in favor of this nation, this Sanskriti, this civilization and everything. But later on, I don't want to go to the reasons, political reasons and communal reasons why he went against uh, Bharati, Bharati Rashtra later on in his life. But he wrote a wonderful poem praising the Sanskriti of Bharat and comparing it with the other civilizations. Yes, Prabuddha Bharati is concentrating upon positive things only. We are not talking much about the negativities of the others. But here it is not blaming others or uh, talking about the negativities of others, but we are just comparing it with the other civilization. Muhammad Iqbal was saying, Junan Mishra Roma Sab Mithgaya Jahan Se कुछ बात है अस्ति मिडती हमारी हिंदुस्तान हमारा हिंदू सुधा हमारा जुनान यानी यवन देश मीनिंग यवन देश मिस्र इजिप्त रोम सब मिट गए जहां से इस इट हैज सीज टू एग्जिस्ट इन आवर प्लैनेट इन आवर एर्थ but there are some, some uh, philosophy or civilization or viewpoint of life, life philosophy which is still existing that is my Hindustan or Hindu Sutha, the Amrit, the nectar of Hindutva, it is existing till now. Why it is still existing? Because we haven't delivered our last word to the humanity. We have got a message to deliver. Swami Vivekananda uh, told many a times that, I am quoting, every nation has a message to deliver, a mission to fulfill, a destiny to reach. The mission of Bharat has been to guide humanity, to give light to the humanity, to give knowledge and wisdom to the humanity. Can you say that uh, light giving responsibility, the responsibility to give light to the humanity or others has ceased to exist? When will it uh, stop to exist? When the darkness of this world will be gone, then only that responsibility will be uh, ended or cease to exist. That's why Swami Vivekananda and Maharishi Aurobindo always saying, our purpose of living, our mission has not been fulfilled yet. 
so we have to live and this particular civilization must live today's topic which we have we have taken we have selected to discuss is vasudhaiva kutumbakam that vasudhaiva kutumbakam concept it is actually the vision as well as mission of this great nation it is the very philosophy of our being our living our view or philosophy or of, of our darshan can be explained we we could understand the very vision of this great land from that particular sanskrit line vasudhaiva kutumbakam we are considering the whole earth as a not only earth the whole cosmos as a kutumba or a family we are not considering anyone coming towards us others we never consider any people as our any any person as our uh, enemy or others one swami vivekananda uh, was talking to the devotees or his friends of uh, uh, america in a closed door meeting in a uh, informal gathering after the speech one person asked the swami ji it's a very simple example but still that has got a message he was asking swami ji's attire his dress it is very loose a gown type uh, uh, dress he was asking why is swami ji you are wearing this type of loose dress which prevents you from uh, uh, running away from any attacker when someone attacks you how could you flee away from him that was his question swami ji's answer was very typical he answered that we are not considering all persons as our enemies and there is a there is another uh, inside meaning inner meaning also about that that is it is not necessary for me to flee away from anyone if he is attack me i am capable enough to resist him or defeat him that's also there swami ji never tell told that but as a lion epitome of courage and confidence swami ji has ek prakar se unhone wo answer bhi hide kiya hai usme so main thing is that we never consider any other person as our enemy we are considering a, every other people as the part and parcel of our own being our own self as if he is a member of our family so that is our concept regarding the whole world with this words the the purpose of this speech is over actually this is the spiritual adhyatmic outlook of bharat in the same time <clears throat> this vision is also our mission also our task towards this whole world this idea this philosophy or this darshan is to be propagated among the whole world and all other people that is our purpose that's what which i have uh, mentioned in the uh, in the beginning that we haven't yet delivered our last word hamare aakhri shabd humne bataya nahi hai abhi tak बताने के लिए अभी भी बाकी है और मिशन इज इनकम्प्लीट इट इज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट पॉइंट विच वी हैव टू डिस्कस और एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ व्हाट विच आई हैव मेंशन इन द बिगिनिंग भारतीय विशन और द फिलोसफी और व्यू ऑफ लाइफ इज बेस्ड ऑन हार्मनी एंड को एक्सिस्टेंस वेर आज again i am comparing with with these words with this caution that i am not talking any negative things some positive things but to understand even positive thing comparison is necessary because when we are talking about our philosophy or vision about the cosmos we have to compare it with other ver versions or visions mainly there are two types of thoughts one is bharatiya thought the other one which is uh, trying to uh, take control over the whole world which wa which was trying also and is still trying is the western philosophy or the materialistic philosophy that is based upon conflict and struggle for existence 
struggling always to take control over others. Those people are considering others are to be conquered by me. They are considering ourselves and the rest of the world. This philosophy or this idea about the life and the human beings life resulted in the world wars or uh, invasions or intrusions or uh, uh, infiltrations. The cutthroat competition to conquer other lands developed from this particular viewpoint that is based on conflict and struggle for existence. The very uh, sciences developed in West in this way. Political philosophy has also developed in this way. Hum human sciences and human arts even developed in this, this way. You, you will get the idea of this, part, the danger of this idea uh, from this particular viewpoint that they are based upon conflict. And always thinking that if I want to survive, I have to fight with others. On the very basis, they have developed their religious belief system also. Religious belief system. There also you can see. They, they are considering the human life as a, 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 a procession or a, or a walking or a journey through a single line or single lane. And they are fearing themselves that uh, the Satan is coming from the back to grab us, to defeat us, to eat us. It's coming from the back. So you have to run fast and overtake the person who is running or walking before you so that you will be in the front and you will be saved. But saved for time being. Only for a time being. Because when you uh, defeat or overtake a person in the front and you be, you you became friend in, in front of that particular person. There is only one person behind you. If you are believing firmly that Satan is coming from the back and he will attack that person who is behind and who was defeated by you, then again you became the last person. So again you have to overtake it. Overtake the procession or the running. So at last you will be in the front of this line, but you will be at the last also. That is the conclusion from that philosophy, that particular ideology. So when considering others as enemies and considering the life as a conflict and for survival you have to defeat others, to defeat others you have to attain power, power in all senses, materialistic power, muscle power, organizational power, religious power, then it all एक प्रकार से एक महासंघर्ष में हमको ये लेकर जाते हैं लेकिन व्हेन भारतीय सिविलाइजेशन स्टार्टेड लिविंग स्टार्टेड इट्स लाइफ इट आल्सो थिंक्स अबाउट इट आल्सो स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग अबाउट द वेरी लाइफ हाउ टू गो फॉरवर्ड हाउ टू लुक अदर्स ऑन व्हाट बेसिस वी हैव टू थिंक and we developed our philosophical thought from that urge in the mind that we have to find out a way to move forward and take others also with us for that purpose what must be the truth. So they started thinking about the truth. Truth of this life, truth of this cosmos, the cosmology, how we all uh, came into existence. What is the real reason uh, behind this light? What is the real reason behind the sound? What is the real reason or the source of this uh, uh, rupas, gandhas, lights and everything? That is not an exclusive uh, work which have been done by our Purvajo. Others also thought about that. When I mentioned about the Westerners focus, how they focused on their thought system that is on the basis of the conflict or the struggle with others, they also started thinking about that. For finding out that very truth of the life, they opened their indriya senses towards out, outer uh, world. Light st eyes started thinking, and eyes, I mean, aangho ne bahar dekhna praram kiya, kaan bahar, dek bahar sunna praram kiya, Panjendriyas, all the five senses are of that quality that always open to outside, not to inside. 
we also started thinking in that line but at a particular point of time westerners thought that the truth is in the outside bahar hai satya for the understanding for understanding i am uh, putting them in, in a bracket that west not the west alone all the people who are thinking in this line that materialistic world is the ultimate truth and they thought that the force which give the power to the eyes is outside the force which give the light to all lights is outside so they started thinking and at a particular point they stopped their yatra but bharatiya purvaj our forefathers they also started thinking outside and looking into outside hearing outside sounds but at a particular point they came to know that no the main source or main reason is not in the outside one courageous forefather he turned his eyes and ears inside we can't say who was that courageous uh, forefather hamare wo purvaj kon hai aisa bata nahi sakte a set of thinkers of bharatiya and it is considered to be the greatest turning point of our philosophical thinking the greatest turning point it has been very well mentioned in kathopanishad in a beautiful shloka paranjikhani vetranat swayambhu tasmat parang pashyati nantaratmen kaschit dhira pratyagatmana maikshad avrutta chakshur amrutatvam ichhan i am quite sure that uh, the great uh, demographic dividend may not like this sanskrit shlokas i am not mentioning about all of you some may because myself also hasn't haven't got an opportunity to learn learn scientifically sanskrit mode of energy and it we are rich with it, with that also recently lithium resources has also been found out from jammu kashmir so our uh, material wealth is also very much in our favor our trading harbors and also our strategic position in this indo pacific area our strategic position why bharat was once loka guru vishwa guru because of our strategic position now bharat we forgot to use it in the medieval period which was not possible also because of the continuous invasions which was not possible uh, to make use of this strategic uh, position of ours for the last 6 uh, 10 uh, dashakas i am not going into the political reasons for that people who were at the elm of the affairs were not that confident about our strength so it was not used now we are starting using it again and again so in every aspect of our human life we can give uh, proper message to the whole world and we can give a pathway a way to for to go forward to the whole world in that way with this particular vision and our philosophical viewpoint bharat can lead the whole world to come out of the darkness through which the world is going through now passing through now in the recently uh, bharat was selected as a, or, uh, or nominated as the president of g20 when the g20 logo was made in that g20 logo also this particular sentence has uh, uh, been incorporated vasudheva kutumbakam this philosophical uh, outlook of bharat towards the cosmos the towards the whole world now the world is thinking deep into uh, uh, coming close to us through this type of thought system and bharat can alone give pay way to the progress of the whole world to solve the problems of the whole world ye bharat ko hi kar sakte hai aise conclusion mein vishwa abhi aa raha hai the time is with us the future is in our hands make use of it study about it learn about it and we can lead bharat and the whole world namaskar vande matra धन्यवाद नंद कुमार जी फॉर एजुकेटिंग अस युवा ऑन व्हाट द प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ वसुदेव कुटुंबकम ऑफर एंड व्हाट आर भारतीय कल्चर हैज टू ऑफर टू द वर्ल्ड 
Now that we have reached the end of inaugural ceremony, I thank the dignitaries for gracing the dais. I also request the dignitaries to join the audience as we begin with our first session. <laughs> 